For certain competitions within the club and external to the club, and in particular for the projected image category, photographers are sometimes expected to deliver images that are saved at a minimum or a smaller resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels. And what we're going to look at here is a method of actually resizing your full res images to these lower size. What we're going to deal with is we're going to deal with two images. This image, which is a landscape image, and this image, of which is a portrait. And we're going to resize both. So starting off with the landscape image, we, within Photoshop we go up to image, and then image size. And there's two sections here, and they cause a little bit of confusion really. The pixel dimensions, which is this top section here, and then document size, which is this section here. The pixel dimensions so show the number of pixels within the image. So currently my image is 3629 pixels wide and 2245 pixels high. Then we come down to document size. This is the size of the image that it will print at. It has no impact whatsoever of the pixel dimensions. So what we can see here is at the moment I have my resolution set to 360 pixels per inch, which means I will be able to print this at 10.08 inches wide and 6.236 inches high. Now I can change these numbers at the moment and it will have no effect on the image itself on screen, which is all we care about for the moment. If I need to change the image on screen, what I need to do is I need to click resample images. And what I also need to do is I need to make sure that when resample image is clicked that I also have constrained proportions. When resample image is clicked, you also get access to this box here, which gives you lots of different mathematical ways of resizing things. And you can choose e either one, but in reality, the best one to do, and it actually says it within Photoshop, is bicubic sharpen for reduction. So if we're reducing the size going from a high res to a low res, we use bicubic sharpen. And really, we all, all we have to do now is we need to just come along to our image and we need to decide, okay, because we're dealing with the landscape image, we need to choose the width. The width is the longest side. So what I do within my width is I do 1024. And what we can see here as well is that the height also changes with it because it's constraining proportion. It's going to keep everything at the same aspect ratio. Now what we can also see is that these have changed because as the pixel dimensions get smaller, your print size will also get smaller. So just clicking this, coming along, and we can see now that it looks to be smaller. Now it is smaller on screen, but the easiest way to see exactly what we have on screen is we go to view and actual pixels. So this is a one-to-one -one representation. This is 1,024 pixels wide. Once we've done that, um, just for your own sake, for most competitions, what we're going to do very, very quickly is we're going to go to edit, you may already have this done in your image, but it's always a good thing to do. Edit, convert to profile. Um, what this will do is we'll make sure that we're actually converting to the right profile. And even though at the moment I am in sRGB, I will always make sure that my destination space, I click it, and on this list, which is a pretty long list, but I just make sure that sRGB is picked, and I click OK. The next thing I do is I come along to image, I click mode and I go to 8 bits per channel. Now what we have is we have an 8-bit image sRGB at 1024 pixels wide. And from there now, I'm going to do file, save as. Just for the moment, I click and I'm going to save this on my desktop. For competitions, your, your images have to be named correctly. For example, at the moment, I am in the advanced group. So my image will always start with A because that is, the, the, that is the group within the club that I am in. Then I will actually have my image, my competition number. So it will be A147, which is my competition number, and then just underscore, and this is the first image I am submitting, so it's going to be one, and I'm just going to choose JPEG. So this image will be called A147 for advanced, 147, my competition number, underscore one, because this is the first image, and then I'm going to save. Once I click save, I get this JPEG option up. You get lots of different options here in terms of high. You can go from medium, low. The easiest thing to do is just high, quality 8, and make sure a baseline standard is clicked, and just click OK. And now that image is an 8-bit JPEG ready for entry to competition. 
Let's do the exact same with the portrait. So in this case, because it's a portrait, I'm going to go to image, image size, um, resample image is actually clicked as per last time. Um, so this time what I need to do is, because we're dealing with the height being the longest side, 768, which makes the width 511, but I just click OK. Uh, again, I'm just going to look at it one to one. So this is the image that I actually want. I'm going to edit, convert to profile. So at the moment it's in Adobe RGB. I just definitely want to make sure it's sRGB. So I'm going to convert to profile. Yes, sRGB. Click OK. Image, mode, I'm going to make it 8 bits. And then finally, I'm just going to save it. I'm also going to put this onto the desktop. Now, I change my type to JPEG. And this time, this image is going to be, whoops, excuse me. This image is going to be A147 underscore 2 dot JPEG. And it's ready to go. Again, just size of 8, perfect. And I can close the image. Now I can just go out to my desktop here very quickly and on my desktop I can see I have these two images. If I just double click on them just to open them up. There's the first image, it's A1471 and there's the second image, A1472.